do 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 well would you look yonder look what the cat drug in got me working today yes i do that's got me working tommy b smith <laughs> and look at that the bearded wonder ah. what is that that's a key up going off oh is somebody stealing that thing <laughs> No. Sir, somebody stealing your Kia. No, I guarantee you nobody's stealing that thing. Hey, VW Lappers, welcome to today's episode. We got the, the band is back together. Well, almost. Jake's at Texas Relays. But nonetheless, we are... A, you're, oh, it's kind of a sad day. Is it a sad day or a happy day? Oh, uh, it's happy. Oh, happy day. It'll be a happy yeah. day for somebody. It's happy because I'm, I'm sitting there not having to do any work. Yeah, well, that's the whole point of this whole thing is that we're done with work. Yeah. And so we're, uh, the uh, Fastback's going for sale. Getting rid of it. You heard it here first. So these are these are going to uh, Coral. So Coral's gonna put those on his, on his uh, uh, Birch Squareback. So that's one less thing. That probably won't run those tires. Oh, those are nice Kumos. Because they're low pros. Yeah, put those on the front. Yeah. Get a little rake. And then, and then, so, uh, we're gonna we're gonna put kind of put the uh, the old square back back together and it's going on the cell block. It's going out on the pad. Yeah, we're gonna do some. Uh, we'll show you all what's available. You can check it out. Uh, we do have it listed right now on Samba. How much is it, sir? On Samba, we're asking five grand. Oh my gosh, that's a deal at half the price. <laughs> well, the main thing that ended up happening is we dug in and the motor became a horrible mess. Uh, mm -hmm. So right now the car comes with no motor uh, because. That was just the motor was a, a mess a, it was what they call a poop show uh, oh yeah that's not good it was messy it was yeah it had sand in it or something right like it had been cruising down the beach like like literally. he had literally i don't think it was sand it was metal and so like <sighs> what we i was digging out like just straight up chunks of metal and i was just flaking it off and it ate the crank up it ate everything outside of that so, so uh the motor wasn't any good and so um, it was going to be a harvest fastback, but then uh, it's not. So that's what happens. But our loss can be your gain. So stick with us today as we put the fastback back together. <laughs> Thanks, Willie. Perfect. Yeah, it's nice though. This thing's actually drier than uh, Bert and Carl's. Oh, yeah, way drier. Because his is rotted right here. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's got that one spot in the back. That's it. Yeah, that's just the floor here. Here we go. Here's giving it a clean. We got to get the seats and the bumper. Look, they're over here. Here's a bumper, sir. I'll take this. Oh, it was sharp. Got it? <laughs> Yeah. I almost cut my hand. That's a good bumper. Oh, it, was, it was my ring that pinched me.
Figuring out some? No. No, not at all. Gary has five projects and that's not enough. Good, hey, Gary. What are we looking at? Well, we got the repair panel for this, but um, you can see it's just in a Type Three. This pan's actually structural to the transaxle. So, but the good news is we have the piece uh, for this. So yeah. everything else is good. Then and there is a rip. You can see it right here. Yeah. But we did cut a piece big enough for it. It just needs to be welded in. Yeah. That's all. Like can't open on something. But we did get a brand new ISP pan, and this thing is super beefy. It's 18 gauge probably. We're ready to weld in. Now we're just gonna box up all these parts because we're not putting them on there because we're quitters, right, Gary? Quitters. Quitters. You got a pair of socks. Just like you got some quitter quit. socks? Quitters never quit. Quitters. Tide three bumper specialist Tommy B. Smith speaking. Can we hit you? I like this uh, fog light setup. I know, yeah, that might look good on the race car. Ooh. Keep that front end down. <laughs> Time to go, baby, go. You want to be pulling the wheelies. That's, for, that's what the wheelie bar is for. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a contraption. Yeah, it's got this like bumper that's supposed to help, like, Absorb it or something? Like 15 mile an hour or something. It's supposed to crumple instead of hurting the car. I don't know. I think I heard That's that. what that big U thing is. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, it looks, it's a nice bumper. It's in good shape. Yeah, and all the bracketry was uh, powder coated, so that's nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that didn't fit on there, though. It does fit on there. Uh, but it takes a bolt to hold behind it. I didn't want to, I didn't want to go through the trouble. Okay. So there is a, there's the new pan. Let's look at what we have over here. There's the support for the mustache bar. Um, here's some seat padding. Let's look through these real quick. Um, electrical department, horn. This thing is complete. Uh, there's your, this is all interior, footwell, seat belts, ashtray, um, vents. Glove box, seat belts, uh, clock, seals, exterior wipers, wiper arms, turn signal uh, lens covers, bellows, the uh, that big Type Three uh, air induction thing. Important there. This is for your your heaters, uh, heat exchangers. Looks like a control arm, steering box. Now oh, there's your uh, calipers there. So these are all gonna be boxed and put away nicely. Holy smokes, very windy. And so uh, you get this, this, the seats on this thing are primo. So that's really nice. <coughs> it has these uh, two liters on it. So not too shabby. Super clean. It's not, I mean, yeah, look at this. No crumple zones. No nothing's ready. ever been hit back up here. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, look at that T spare tire thing. Look how clean that is. <laughs> Man, somebody worked a long time on that. Somebody did. Me. Did a fine job. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy B. Well, we're getting wrapped up here. We've got to put the seats in and we'll uh, put the other stuff in and uh, 
That'd be it. Martin, is this a bittersweet moment for you? It's a sweet, sweet it's a moment. Sweet moment. <laughs> Martin's very sad. Yeah. You can see he's just, he's, he's not even talking. No, it's throwing he's, stuff All in Martin's it. been talking about day in, day out. <laughs> I miss the fastback. Oh, yeah, that he misses the no, yeah, right. It's the opposite, like, we need to get going. <laughs> Gary has far too many cars sitting up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, well, the problem is now is there, there's too many. But now, if you have a car for sale, you could just call Gary and he will sell it for you. Apparently. Oh, yeah, I got lots like of cars Gary for sale. Car lot up here. Yeah, yeah, that and we well, know you guys don't even know about Boomer yet. That's a whole other ball game. Um, but the good news is the Scirocco Rocky 13 had another leak, fuel leak, but I fixed it again. There's always something. Go on that side and pick that seat up. So this looks a little tricky. So these are not like normal. These only fit in. These only fit in these kind of cars. It's really high on that rail, huh? I can see it from. Oh look, it's got a high rail and a low rail. Yeah. I think I'm on my side. I'm in there. Oh no no, we gotta go back out. Go further out. There you go. Okay. A Batmobile. There it is. There's nice. no, there's no, no uh, bushings. Bushings in it, so it's gonna shake around a little bit. Wow. Little bit. So the wiring on this is uh... <laughs> DIY. Do it yourself. <laughs> <coughs> Leave it. Uh... Well, we took it apart. We took the uh, wiring apart so that, because uh, there was a whole bunch of extra and we needed to get rid of that. And so it just needs to go back into the same holes. It really was pretty simple. Yeah. It's easy peasy, says Tommy B. The, he is truly the wiring guru. Oh, look at that nice speaker. Yeah, it's a separate. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's got a tweeter now. Uh huh. You can mount this separately, but it takes a little extra work. Pioneer. Nothing but the best. All right, we load that one in. What? I'm going to go on this side. Oh, okay, okay. I was going to go on this side. Oh, you want the easy part. I like filming. Let's see here. Don't ever like somebody try to tell you, yeah, I got some tight three seats. I'll fit in your beetle. Oh, yeah, you're good right there. Slide her back a little bit. Hand? Lift up that little hand. Oh, yeah. Look at that. God, that looks custom. That's the one thing that's nice about this for sure is that. Oh, the interior's done. I mean, this. Good grief. Have you priced, seriously, have you priced seat covers lately for Volkswagens? Uh, that's probably done seats like that. It's two grand. It's insane. It's crazy. So that's a that's a good savings right there. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. I mean, you, that, that, that's good quality stuff too. Uh, yeah. That one with all that miscellaneous stuff, the heavy stuff, we'll put on the front floor, that back one. Oh yeah, the other other ones aren't very heavy, I don't think. Everything's boxed up nicely. Is that the heavy one? There's some lids. That's the electrical department. All right, what do you think, guys? That was well, pretty quick. Uh, the sun's still up. Sun's up. Gun's up. <laughs> uh, well, the for sale pad here is uh, filled up this week. But uh, it's Martin. I need I need my uh, leisure suit, and I come over here and start uh, in put your, my. Put your long mic. Long I need, mic. Yeah, that's the long I mic. Interrupt your. Uh, Night at the movies watching <laughs> Night of the Living Dead. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a 19 and 68 Volkswagen Fastback with some bootable two liters. two liters loaded with boxes of goodies. Yeah, it's got, ready to be put back together. It's got pop outs in it, they're nice. Seats Doors open great. Look at that. Woo. I'll do it again just for fun of it. Does it need seals? No. Does it need glass? No. Um, needs a buff? That's what I always thought that if we just got to the point 
and just buffed it out, we'd be all, really excited. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and ready to move forward with it. Eh. We never got to that point. No. Let's, I'll blame Martin. You yeah. can blame me all you want. Martin's a good person to take the heat. Yeah, he'll yeah. take the heat. Well, I, as, as soon as I saw those backup lights like that, and I said, nope, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, especially because of the angle, but. Yeah. I like those uh, rear tail lights too. They're small. And... It's very European. Yeah. I didn't put the uh, fog light on, but man, it looks super cool with the fog light on. It looks good with that. It'll have bullet turn signals. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be a cool little car, Slam. Yeah. You had some. How many times have we ever said something? If you just wash it, you get so much more money for it. <laughs> I guess we don't. Oh, we yeah. Don't, we don't listen to ourselves. Don't, listen to, don't look at the bird poop all over it. <laughs> Jiminy <laughs> Cricket. That's, that's what luck. Have, who, who, what have we become? <laughs> you know yeah. what? Here, you know what? Here's the deal. I'll make you a twofer. Ooh. 68. 56. A twofer. That's what you're talking about right there. Yeah, this is a. Uh, oh yeah. Hey, don't show that part. It's a uh, welder's dream. Yep. Yeah. Do you need to practice welding? <laughs> Look, SEMA fours. Look, small windows. Oval, uncut. Look at the big vents here. Very snazzy. Yeah. Look, the uh, original tail light housing. Oh plates. Yeah. And then. Uh, it's the perfect car for someone that wants to make their car an oval and wants to die for it. True, it does have a title. That would be the number one thing. There's a 72 like in the field the, we can make an oval. Hey, the miniature back right. seat it came with. Whatever that came out of. I think it does have a Model T, but it fit there nicely. It does have a four tab hood. It does have a four tab hood. That's and good. it has a hump gas tank. Ooh. Oh. It has some parts on it. Ooh, with the gas. Yeah. Oh, what a filler. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what do you think, boys? <laughs> hey, you so, know what? Hey, when it comes to selling the fastback, if you really are interested, hit us up at it is it vwlifevw at gmail.com. And uh, we're selling it for five grand, but we're willing to uh, wheel and deal and make this thing go away because uh, that's just where we're at with it. So make sure to talk to us about it. It's super nice. It's, it's a VW Life car. What more do you want? It's super awesome. It is pretty awesome. It's <laughs> Just we, we just, just don't have the time. We could sign a glove box, make uh, it even worth a little more. Oh, yeah. I yeah. don't know about the time, it's more the drive. The provenance, the drive. yeah, and the drive, yeah, time. And yeah, that's it's, you can own a car that was stored at the bus guru's house for, <laughs> for, like, for like two years, three years, two yeah, years, three, two years, two years, two years. I think two years because it was out there for a while. Uh, I remember when we got it, we were so excited. We, we, remember we went to NASA. Yeah, we started NASA for taking pictures with it and the space shuttle's like, yeah. oh, this is exciting. It I'm was so exciting. excited. I was never that excited. We'll go back and we'll review the video and see his, the, the smile on uh, Little <laughs> Wonder's face. See how that works. You'll see Martin was just so happy. <laughs> well, here's the thing. The best news you know of the be great? is if somewhere in that video, he goes, he goes, you know, we're just going to sell this in a couple of years. And if that's there, uh, you know, he probably said that in there. It might not be on the camera. He goes, <laughs> yeah, look for it. Give us the timestamp on the yeah. video and we'll send you some stickers. There you go. How about that? It's probably, yeah, it's exactly what happened. It might be there. It's like Martin's, Martin's over there. You see Martin in the background. <laughs> He's like, give it two years. <laughs> and it's exactly what happened. Right. If you don't right. jump right on it, it becomes a mess. Yep. Here's the deal. The best thing is, we just want to say thank you guys for watching VW Life and uh, got the band back together here tonight. So stick with us, y'all. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, our new editor in chief, Parv! Parv! Parv Gupta. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? Gupta Nation? Yeah, Gupta Nation. Yeah, thanks, Parv. Yeah, man, he's killing it. We, uh, we're so grateful for him making a, a, doing our editing. So, uh, you know. Give him a shout out, that kind of thing. And uh, check us out at All Metric Garage. There's some cool stuff on there. Yep. Route 67 stuff. Ooh, yeah, that's what I on there. VW Harvest. Yeah, sure. Get a Matoga shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure, we just appreciate you guys. And it's great to be together and we enjoy you guys and your comments. Like and subscribe. Tell your aunts, tell your uncles, tell your nobody you know about VW Life because uh, we still cranking, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. We're not doing nothing. <laughs>